Okay, I think I'm ready now. All right, um, let me take a quick review about this uh, this application. It's like an e-learning um, software. So let me just take a quick review about that. This is just the front end. We're going to be building uh, the user our dashboard, then the teacher dashboard, and the main dashboard. So uh, we're going to, um, to be integrating these features much later. All right, yeah, we have the list of courses. If you notice, uh, what we have been building all this way is just uh, a, 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 a single page website. This is going to be a, a multi page uh, website. When you click on the course, you see list of the courses. I've, I've, not, I've not added anything there yet. As I said, it's actually going to be a continuous process. So the class continues to choose there. So um, that's why I'm, I don't really want to just bug you guys with just postcard video. When you just keep doing it without even get, get, understanding what you are doing, you know. So I'll be taking it bit by bit, bit by bit. Um, I'll, I thought of doing just a video where I create everything, but I said, no, it, it will it not look good. Let me just be doing it small, small, so that we'll pick up. So um, after the end of this class, I'm, I'm, it, 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 it's advisable to, by now, you'll be able to finish up the pending assignment you have. So I'll tell Abigail, no more assignment um for now let's focus on this project and see how we can finish up then uh before 19th and then you can be able to start up your own solo project solo project so um so this will have course so this course is when you click on it you see the list of all the courses then yeah we have about us when you click on it take you to about us page then team, you see the list of team. I was even looking about most of you. Most of their faces will be here. Uh, send their picture, add their picture. There. Then we also going to we are going to deploy this application online. After you are done building, we will deploy it on the server. So teaching you this without teaching you how to deploy on the server uh, won't make sense. So we are going to deploy it. Then I'll create a subdomain. Maybe Scala City does I just create Scala City obedience software training. Uh, if possible, we are going to be using it for our, uh, this coming uh, training. So we are going to uh, we are going to use it as our official website. We are going to scrap this other website. Then most of our pictures will be here as our luminar. So then we have students. This way you will have students. We have a student, luminar, the student, the current student, and. Uh, uh, the former student as well. So here is apply where you can apply. When you click click here, you see a registration button. When you put your email, the next you see where you put your email. just like a registration button where you can apply as a student. When you call, you see apply as a student, apply as a teacher. Uh, so you can then decide the area you want to apply. So apply, you choose whether you teacher or a student. So, yeah, we have this um, a learn to code, build project, and M certificate. Give your team the knowledge, experience, and certificate they need. So, um, in both we are going to be learning how to use a slider, like a slide. Some of these pictures will be sliding. So, most of you have seen, you have seen some websites where they have slide. They have slide. So, slide is actually more of advanced. If you are using CSS to build, to build a side with slide, you require jQuery. So most of you don't know jQuery. So I don't really want to go about the jQuery now. So you require JavaScript. So but both apps framework as uh, uh, easiest, easy the, the process for us. Um, very, very easy. You just need to just copy a few pictures and you add you get the slide. So every every work has been done already. Then you start their styling. So Bootstrap is, in fact, is the best for me. I use Bootstrap for all my job, all my job, both Bootstrap and my job, I use Bootstrap for them. So uh, it, it, uh, imagine the time you use in building um, with CSS and HTML, like native CSS. Bootstrap is CSS and HTML, but native CSS and HTML, where you build from scratch, from zero to top. Uh, so you know what it is. It, 
it requires a lot of time. And when you have three, four jobs to deliver, it's all going to cope. And you have a time to deliver the jobs. So Bootstrap is actually going to help you in front end, though, not back end. May not you say there is no shortcut in back end. <laughs> you can have a shortcut in front end using WordPress and go. But in back end, there is no plugin. You write the code. That is it. So I hope you are together. Um, I hope you are together. Mr. and Mrs. All right. So yeah, you can see that when I click on this front end developer, I'll, I'll have this, uh, how was it called? It? Um, uh, what is this the uh, Boss, yeah, box shadow. When you click, you see I have the box shadow. When I click, you see I have the box shadow. Uh, if you can just view just few pages this night it's okay then what you can you see you know that this image image is not like a normal program image um is that what we call a screw a fixed uh, parallel 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 screw we call it parallel screw so what you call you we have um, um software training um then we have here yeah, we have when you click on this What is that? that? This guy, this guy, come. Who is this telling this? Who are you? Introduce yourself. I just see for the first time. Huh? I'll move yourself out and remove you. Why am I seeing you today? Is this, is this guy telling the truth? Is this saying the truth? Huh? Ah, I've just seen this guy. Oh, okay. Let's continue, please. So when you when you hover on this, notice that the the, the right top has disappeared. The way I bring my mouse here, you see the right top just come up. Then same thing with this one. Then this one. Too. So um. So I've seen it. Uh, you scroll down. We have this uh, nice pictures. Um, we have this different uh, in the class. I just copied this thing online. I just copied this right up online. So uh, we are going to be building more of it. So I would, I'm going to be adding more. On my, on my normal time, I'll add more. So I just need to be reviewed. So this actually was going to be built in, um, particularly in this section. So this is a very huge application, both back end and front end. So we are building back end and front end of this. Um, so can we commence? Let's see if we can just wrap up before the first um, eleven thirty. All right. Okay. So get your code editor. Let let uh, let proceed. Yes, who is that? Sorry. Huh? Your voice is very low. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. How are we gonna? I don't get that. Can you elaborate more? Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, no, I, I said what if if it, if it listen to me very well, I said this is a a continuous project. For now, we are going to be building the front end and other multi pages. 
then when we those when we start the front end, those who are for front back, so those who are for back end rather. Uh, when we start the back end, this is actually the first project we are going to be building. Remember, you cannot just jump into back end. Back end is not like front end where you start building. For you to start building in back end, you must finish all the syntax. The syntax can take like two, two weeks or three weeks to finish up teaching the syntax. Then after you have, you have done teaching the syntax, you start building a project with raw Python, native Python. When you build robots, you, build, you do work with emulations, with uh, word scripting, with the robot that will can send a message on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, work with email, send email, work with PDF. You know, after them, we are done with this. Now, start the Django. Then it's in Django when we start building. So it's not just, it's not actually what we just start building. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you will you will you will lost and you will not even get even one single statement it's when i'm teaching so it's actually going we're going to be taking that bit by bit for those who are for back end if you're not for back end then um, i'm sorry for those who are for back end i'm talking about significantly those who are for back end so so that's i hope that is clear okay Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we will start to the code. All right, I know, I know that uh, we don't have any um, newbies. No newbies. We're going to just start up that building. And you're looking at me, and see what I'm doing. They really don't understand. I ask question. Please ask question. Don't just. Uh, looking at me like that ask questions notwithstanding we have videos ask questions very very important i like as i'm teaching you know i do i teach now as i teach we code along so today is february fourth class let me create the folder inside it february i'm going to create the folder oh. no the folder will be what is the name of the folder can somebody remind me remember me you call to me <laughs> what do you know what the folder what do you know for that we will use okay let's just use uh, uh let's just use uh, um let's see uh okay I'm thinking of a name all right um I'm using e-learning learning project okay so the e-learning project i'll be having my uh so it is going to be a multi multi pages page website so images Images. Oh, oh, okay. Inside images, we're going to be having uh, our style, um, CSS styles. Um, I think this, this is good for now. This is good. Uh, let me create my CSS file. I'm also going to be using multi ECSS here because we're going to be having more of a multi pages. So um, I will say home page. This CSS will be for my home page. Home dot CSS. Home page. Dot CSS. So it's this CSS just for my home page. All right. So I'm also going to create in. Um, by creating my index file index.html right a good we are good we are good we are good okay all right guys um, 
the first thing I'm going to do is to generate my default um, my default HTML file. I'm doing this. Um, okay. Um, let me have this. Uh, let's see, obedient. Obedient software. So this application, we are, we are, we are using this. This is a live application. We are going to deploy this application. So we are deploying every um, necessary. Uh, let's say. Um, every um, necessary procedures or a kind of a pattern um, um, let's say uh, required pattern for this uh, uh, web practice pattern so this is actually going to, going to be using for this project um, all right and uh, let me quickly uh, look at my own, own page so this is what we what we got here, and if you notice here, when you come to this this particular project, when you look at the when you look at this um, title bar, you will see a logo, right? How many of you have seen the logo? This logo here. Okay, we call this we call this a um, I think that's a fecon right fecon icon, right? Is that the fecon icon, right? So we are going to be adding the five icon icon. Before I do that, I need to get this logo. I believe everybody have this logo, so I don't really need to ask you let you get it. If you need this logo, go to our official website. You we'll have access to this logo. So, but I'm going to be copying that from my from my. Um, let me get the logo here. Let me get the logo here. I won't tell you where to get the look. I believe you know where to get the look. So you go to official, you go to official website and grab the look. Okay. E-learning. I didn't do this. I'll be adding my Fevicon icon. So I come here. I need this link. Now, as I generated this file now, here is the normal procedure how we link our CSS. Like in CSS, in ref here, you have a star sheet, but I'm not going to be using star sheet for you. I'll be naming this to icon. Icon. Then here will be the path for our logo. Then if you come here, you notice that we have a a folder inside that folder which is February before last we have another folder here. So what I'm going to do is that if I, I click on slash here I will see all the folder inside this directory. Then if I click on dot that means I'm inside this folder. Dot slash you can see what I have I have a image and this so, but if I actually dot slash, then I have um, e learning. So, if you look at it here, I would like to also show you about the index in the station uh, um, how you can use dot root uh, uh, cd into a directory. So, if we want to cd into the whole directory, I just use slash. Then, this slash I can see all the I can ls all the directory here. These are all the list of the directory I'm seeing. Then, if I want to like cd into my main root directory, then I need to push double slash then slash. If you have, if you are need to search, if you are not, just use one slash. It all depends on the pattern or the arrangement of your direct of your local directory and your local machine. So dot dot slash this. I have the um, e learning. Um, inside this e learning specifically, I'm going directly to the e learning. So I use dot slash. Then inside the I have images and style. So then I have my logo PNG. So actually, this is it. Then when I come here, I will see 
I have this heavy uh, cup How I many of I mean, you have seen it? Okay. Okay, so. <clears throat> Okay, let's uh, let continue. Okay, um, the next thing we are going to be doing here is to is to get this. Um, I will provide this. Um, I will provide this slider I use. If I'm uploading this slider on YouTube, all the images I use for this training, I will provide them on the slider. So they can have access to them. But if you don't want to use the same image, all you need to do is to come here, pixel. You go to pixel. You can download as much as image you want. You can just search training or uh, web uh, training. Just make sure search it. Anything that is related to, to um, so you can see, you can see more nicer picture you can use. But I don't want to use any online pictures um, because we are taking this life, and uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want a situation where where people start using the site and they are seeing different pictures. So every picture I'm using should be the picture of the current obedience software training. Um, basically, this job is for the training for now. So, you can use any of these, then download any of these pictures and use. I'm not going to be using any of these pictures for now. So, um, right. So, let's fast forward to that. We're going to be getting this picture. But before they let, they grab this man. We have home courses about us, team student, and apply now. So, they get that first. So, um, what we're going to be doing is to create a class of header then inside the header we are going to be having okay let's inside the inside the header or oh, let me say sorry before this i want to create a class of a container like this container i'm creating is this container that will have this nice uh, uh, background you know so then inside that container also we have this we have this uh, right up we have this right up we have this man here so we're going to be working with a lot of deep a lot of blocks um, element more of blocks element on this uh, this uh, project um when you look at here we have the ul we have the let's start with the logo and the ul first so uh let me create that container that will that will houses all the um for the whole um, element the the background so see this uh what should i use what container should i what should i name the container can someone remind me anybody can tell me please suggest for me please the name of the class i'm going to use for this container uh, any idea developers in the house please okay let's just container flex it's not it's not really a flex stuff but no understanding i'm not converting that i'm not converting that flex so um all right this container flex we're going to be having logo a header so I have, I have the header then inside the header so we have our logo and our ul we want to that this is our this is our ul then this is our in the flex are you here it's in the track here. Okay. All right. Um, okay. What I'm going to do is to add my logo. Uh, add my daughter crying. I'm looking the idiot. Logo. So, uh, right. Then, um, here is our logo. Here we have the default logo. Then we have our header. Our header can can only have our 
Toganov and uh, Zanofi. Ah, what's the problem? Why is it crying? Um, dot. Um, um, yeah. Not really. Um, you are. So this you are right. I can just give you the class. Any class if you want. I don't. I don't even like giving this in a class. But you are going to give the class. I just hold on. Let me check on my daughter. She's crying heavily. I don't know what's wrong with her. Yeah. No, we all we all understand the use of UN, so I don't really necessarily need to be explaining that. Uh, we have about um, we have about about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five. Six. About six lists inside the UN. So six lists inside the UN. This is what we have. So, I'm going to be doing that to getting this. So, so I say li and six greater than a. So a this a means um the anchor link. Then so automatically generate um six in um elements. So these are the six elements we generated. Um, so here we have our boom. boom. Here we have our courses, right? Course, our courses, we have the our course, out, painting. Right. We have two months. So let me see what I have here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. About us, team, student, and apply. One, two, three, four, five, six. Student, uh, then apply. I think we are good. We are good. Um, the next we are going to be doing is to let let uh, let uh, they have like a kind of a background. Mm -hmm. They have a kind of a background and, uh, and um, they just have the background for now. So what I'm going to be doing is that remember I created the uh, I created this flex container. So this flex container inside the flex if you click here you notice that um it ends here right so anything i do inside this flex container will affect every element inside the tank are we together so, so what i'm going to do now is very simple um, Okay. I have the CSS. I already created my CSS here. So it's to link the CSS now. So I will start working with the CSS. So basically what we're going to do is... Uh, okay. Wait, hold on. Let me change location. Do we get our local? Let me change my location. Let me move Okay, let me add it now. Let me add it. Let me add it. So that... Uh, about us. All right. Okay. About us. Are we good? Let me link. Uh, let me close all these tabs. All right. Let me quickly link my CSS. So. Um, yeah, I have a. Yeah, it's fine. 
the home page. So to confirm if it's linked, I can just click on this follow link here. Click on this follow link. This way. This way. Um, all right. Okay. Um, you want to the procedure. The first I'm going to do is to remove the default, um, the default margin and padding. Then have a, a, a flex box because I'm going to be working with a lot of boxes. Um, to avoid having uh, a brick along the line, so I'm going to be using flex boxes, removing margin and padding. So we all know how to do this. Um, also, um, not for a quick one. I I will, I will be removing all these uh, uh, these bullets and uh, uh, underline. I'm 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 doing that on the global selection. Although if you are if you are using if you are using multiple um, uh, UL, maybe you're going to be in your footer, and uh, you also be needing an underline and all the other things. Don't do it. But if you don't need all those, just quickly remove it. Do that on the global selection. So I'm going to be removing this underline too, and uh, this bullet, a leaks type um, uh, button icon. Oh, uh, yeah. So let me do that quickly. Okay. Uh, we have the start to select our global variable. So this uh, means that it's not the body it means that everything html like the way i highlighted it everything here will be selected so specifically that's what this uh um it's different from you doing that in the body don't think that is a body it's not the body right let me quickly do that margin we know what margin is all about so the margin should be zero then the padding should be zero then um, if you are, if you are coming here, this is what happen. Of course, definitely that's what will happen. So there's no magic. We're removing the margin and padding. And the, then also flex boxes. I, I'm going to be using that instead of you adding flex boxes on the container. Just add it here. Uh, no flex boxes. Um, box sizing. So just border box. Yeah, border box. So this will have here. The next thing I'm going to be doing is that I'm a lazy, I'm a lazy coach. Um, what I put, I'm a very lazy person. So you don't, I tried, I, I love shortcuts. That's what most of you see me. I don't write manual. I use shortcuts. All right. I'm going to be doing the decorating. Yes, that's what I want to do now. Start decorating and uh, I'm going to be removing every, all of them. Um, I'm going to remove it. did not. It, yeah, I want to do that on the global, uh, global, global, uh, global variable. My confusion as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, see text correct though, right? To none. Correct the correct is just the underline. Yeah, none. So this is what we have here. You don't know that there. So um, we have um, a have, um, list uh, list style type, have you? right? Okay, okay, we have that known. Okay, I think we are done with this. So what I need to do is quickly uh, come here. Sorry, guys. Click on the, uh, this is a real project. So I'm using a professional procedures here. So here is global select I also use also. Also, also remove remove the underline and the okay. I highlight and then add my comments. So I want that Yes, I will too.
uh, I'll highlight. Uh, okay. If you want to remove it, I highlight and hold control, then forward slash, I remove it. Then if you want to add control forward, that, that place you have your foot, your question mark. That first I have your question mark, yes. Forward slash, that's it. Please go along, go along, very important, very important. You will not tell me that you don't need anything I did here. Please, you don't understand anything I'm doing, explain. Because I don't want this video to be It will not help you. So, um, right. So, the next thing we are going to be doing here is to um, reduce this man, then move this, uh, convert this item, this particular object to flex. Flex box. Now, when you come back, um, when you come back here, we have the header. So inside this header, we have items like UL and items like logo. These are the two items we have um, inside our header. So we are going to be converting this header to to like um, we're going to converting this header to to um, flex. Flexbox. So um, let me copy that in there. Um, here is my header, my website. Website menu. Menu. Converted to Flexbox. Okay. Right. So, I also need to do something here. Global. Global. Select. And yes. So, I have this. All right. Let me move ahead. Mm. So, I have my header. So, display to flex as usual. So, make I convert this element to flex. These two items becomes they becomes item. These two things here becomes item. So this is what we have here. This is what we have here. Mm -hmm. This is what we have. So let me also work on the logo. On this logo. Usually, um, initially, what we do is we add, we control the size of the logo here. So I'm not going to be doing that. I will be doing that in my CSS. So here I have my M I M M I M G. Here I have my div. This div is having my I M G. So what I need to do is to call my logo then I M G to work on it. So um, yeah, here here is my logo. So then, um, but my logo and uh, img so it means that my image if you come inside my logo div please call in the image that like whatever i do here would only affect the image image uh, the, the img tag so that's why you can see i didn't add any like anything like dots at the back I just, what i did was just uh, so the width of this should be very good man the width Of 150, 150 pixel. Let's just see what happens. So I think uh, the weight is a bit okay. Um, we need some. Let's say we need some. Um, we just need like. Uh, a space in between the logo and the UL. So. I'm going to be doing that. Some people will say, ah, why is that uh, when you convert this thing to flex? At least the logo should, the UL should, uh, all the items inside the UI should at least be in the same as in line, but it's not. So the reason why it's not like that is that, let me explain this, very, very important. Um, the flex, I, flex, when you convert this, this, this div to flex, it only affects the first 
and the first block element. When I mean the first block element, it only affect this div. If you have another div inside this map, it will not affect that div. So this is a block element. It only affect this UL. It will not affect the LI. So that is why. But if you have only a like anchor link, which you know that okay, it's not a, a block element, it will affect that. So it can either convert that to flexbox or you use inline block. So to get whatever you want. So I just want to be a breath on that. Okay. Um so what you need to do is to move this to the the right hand side. Uh, there are two ways of doing this. You can either use uh, a justified content within, or you can use flex flex grow to grow the flex. Or, but the grow flex is more of advanced. But let me show you something very simple we can understand. So what I need to do is justify. Okay. So. Um, so what I need to do is, uh, it's more of advanced, I think, let me for I start writing this track with. I'm a lazy person, so let me use a short hand. Uh, okay, space around, let's see what, how, let's see how happens. So this is actually space around. So you're having space around this element, so we don't need that space around. So we really need the space uh, within the element, so that we won't have, yeah, you have any over like okay so this is what we have now we we'll, 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 we'll call it off like call it off for you then let's just add a background a background if you can beat the responsiveness and then we'll be to go let you have a kind of a um a background for this they just have a background so what we need to do um it's very simple very very simple so uh so what we need to do is uh, here we have our container flex. So I'm going to be adding a, a picture or kind of um, a background for that. So I'll quickly jump into the background process. Um, so. Um, Go and smear. Okay. Right. So next one I want to do is here yeah, is my uh, container relax. Container relax. Right. Uh, if you add like background color to red, I just want to show you guys something. Background color to red. So this is what I have. Right? So but I I needed this very um I need to have a very uh large width in between this thing so that it can just have this this, this size specifically. So what I need to do is to add the weight properties. So if you want to have this kind large weight, very large huge weight, instead of you adding, if you use, let's say if you use like uh, height, okay, let's your weight to 100 percent. It's already under, so it's already 100 percent. But let's add that to 100 percent. Then height, uh, if I say 400 pixel. And if on the prison of fights, will not still give me what I want. So what I really want, I need this very long, very huge height. So I don't need to just 100 V, yeah, VH, so V point. So um, this is what we have here. Hmm? Very cool, uh, no, very nice. Uh, but in this content, we are not using, we are not using, uh, that's it. The view, view height also. I can a responsive height. You know, view, you view something, something. So just Google it. Get to know. So, uh, all right. What we're going to do is that uh, I'm having this. I'm going to be adding my background. So let me copy that. 
in the background first. I will be, I'll be making this background available for those who need the background. Um, making that available. Um, this is, uh, okay. Let me get this. Get this. Get this. Any other that is good, so I'll just make this a little. Alright. Let me also get this. I have different background here. So, let's go back to February. Um, February. Just class. So, inside the image. Uh, you know, I'm having a lot of images, so I, need, I don't need to separate them. I will say slider, slider's image. So, I don't add this here. But I'm not going to be using all of them. I just use few of them. Few. Anyone that is okay, I'll just make use of it. So, it doesn't matter. Let's go back to our... This no, I'll they are not that will provide them. I'll I'll just I'll drop the images on, not on WhatsApp, I'll drop the images on website and drop link where you can, on Google file. I'll just drop it on Google uh, I don't drop any Yes, I've I've said that before. I've said that before. But yeah, so project you don't use any high image. We'll give image to use. Uh, so. Um, all right, so let me move ahead. Okay, I'm going to be removing this here. So I'm using background image. Don't delete code, just comment on it. Don't always delete code, right? Um, background image. Then I need to have your URL to this here. So just slash no slash dot, dot slash right that image mm -hmm. slash, dot slash and uh, I'm not seeing this uh, slider here okay <laughs> This slider is is not there, so I did it in a different. Uh, okay, let me copy it from here, move it in my project. Then Elani, it's at the image of Elani. How this here? So you understand what I did, have you? Hmm? Okay, we have this slide. Then, uh, I don't know about this. I didn't want to use. Okay, this is okay. But if you notice, we have duplicate, right? Mm -hmm. So we need to remove the duplicate. So to do that, we should come to background here and say. A grand repeats should be no repeats. no repeats. So let's see what happens. And then notice that the background is not full like this. I'm giving us this full background. So we have to um, look at the size. And then the size should be cover. So background. Program. Uh, size was that size size then we cover so let's see what happened see what happened Abby? Huh? for me this is this image is okay is this the same image i use it let me use this one i think so uh, how can i load this image okay, let me just go through it and see the image i use 
Okay, this I think this is the image. This is number two. Number two is the image. Okay, number two is okay. Number two and ten they are the same. So all right. Let's quickly change the number, change the image number to slide like slide two. Right. Okay. Okay. Let's try a new try slide ten. It is like not they're still the same though. They're still the same though. So let me use a let's center like this image. So I have to bring this image to center. This image center, then uh, image um, background position, position to center. Let's see what we have. So you can see what we have now. Here. Initially, um, if you notice, initially the the background, uh, the image is not displaying well. Let me comment on this so that you understand. So if I comment on this, this is what we have. Hmm? It's not showing well, so we have to move everything to center so that the image. Adam, I be I I not sure it's not from it's not from my own end. For my own end, the rule and I want to know there'll be nothing more. Okay. Is this the coin? Yeah. From my. I know, I know it's from my own end. It's from my own end, I'll fix it. Echo. If you want to do echo, go PHP on a day, they get echo. Madam, I expect I save this night too. <laughs> all right. Okay, this is all I have here. Yeah. All right, okay. Um, I think you are good with this. Don't, if we need any other thing, again, we'll add it up. All right, um, we are good with this. So what we're going to do here is to work on this man here. It's this guy here, so um, so what I'm gonna do is uh, I will okay, I will call on the okay, let's proceed. So let's work on this guy, let's work on this guy quickly. Come here, then here we have you. So do you remember everything here is. It's actually, um, let's say, it's a block element. So we have to change that to inline block. So to inline block, um, okay. Mm. Let's see. Let's container. Yeah. All right. So, um, did I have you UL before? I don't have you. Yeah, it's my. So you have um you have a line, Abi. You have a line display. Um, display to in line. Okay, that's what happened. 
So this is what we have. This is what we have here. Hmm? So this is what we have here. Um, um, let's try to bring this item. Um, to center like uh, this this particular item this this three item let's try to see how we can bring that to center so just use a align item to center so let's see what happen okay we have it here um work we we'll work on this yeah, you should level on this, level on that specifically. Um, we know how to work on the logo. The logo is not a problem. We need to add a link up to a cookie pizza. With the logo, I've been looking at how we can um, add a kind of a margin also. Margin on the logo, like this area is. And bring it a bit front you understand I'll bring it front a little bit so to just bring it front you're going to be so um um margin top and bottom the margin left and right so, Okay, this is what we have here. Go with that. All right. Um, let me bring that a little. Yeah, I want to. I want to. Let me move ahead. Okay, let that. Let add the spaces here. I think yeah, space. Um, in that space we should call in because if we if we call in magic here. Yeah. Where with the margin app, the margin will only affect the inside. So we call in margin inside here. So the margin will affect the LI. So you can use margin, you can use padding. So if you like, you can see LIA. Hmm? Um, okay, sorry. LIA. Oh, I'm recording. So let's say LIA. Try with padding and see. That depicts a. That depicts a top and bottom. That depicts a left and right. Let's just see what we're going to do. So, um, now when you come here, mm -hmm. what will happen is that. The now, if you use this man and add this part, the let's just see what's going to happen. The all learning okay, still going to have effects, okay, still going to have effects. So, let me return only this man if it will return only this man. But if you add, you call this LL, so people say, Why well, didn't do this in in here? We call this UL. Um, I thought it will work, okay, it still work so. It all depends on it still work. If it's working, there no need of adding this. Have you? Not be so. Not be so happy. Bro. Yeah. Uh, so let's add it here. And let's add it here. Then 30 pixels. 30 pixels. So. Okay. See, so let's reduce the pixel. Pixel is too small. Um, 20 top and bottom. 20 left and right the main thing we even need here is left and right so if for me it's too still big uh, let me use 15, 15. okay also going to increase the font now if i increase the font here that if it work because of the li because of the e font size i thought if it work here but let's try that we're all in eh? So let's say 40 pixels. That if it work here, let's try and see. It works. So still need to return that. 
Uh, let's say 20 pixels. Uh, okay. Then I'm trying to use a font size here. So let me quickly go to Google. Uh, font. Oh, um, sorry. Um, Google font. Try to grab some Google font. Needed. Need something to see. Very juicy font. Let me remove existing fonts already. Um, I'm trying to. But let me pause this video so that it will be Chinese. Because they like Chinese. Alright. Get this for me do. Uh, okay. So um, I'm using CSL for this. So basically, I'm not using a link. Putting this inside my head, so I'm using CSS. So if you come, you have this list here. If you're using inline, then when you need this uh, link, so I don't need to just copy from here. From this import at hmm? um, copy, then come to my come down to my okay. Mm, yeah, I mean, I, I just want to add it here. Okay. Um, I want to add this on top of here so that I will know that okay, this phone is for my stuff. You can add it anywhere, you can add it from up here. From up, I get me from add it here, but I don't want to add that here. So if they pay me, they pay you well. So let me add it here because I really beat that on the other many way you want. And a blessing we say, This man, you're gonna add it there. You know, I did that. Uh, speak, speak with you. Then I just speak with your language. Right. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, what the? Okay, this one I have here. Okay. No, I, I, I think my phone is bigger now. Let me join it this is small. This is small. Yeah. yeah. Visa, visa, visa voice. She will figure, she will figure visa visibly. To figure visa. No, she will get visa easily. This that thing they call. If you do do this IT finisher, she won't drop her like this. You go airport. You go tell you say. You go speak and speak and speak. You better go know where to give a visa. Stamp on. All right, let me still try to. Hmm? Yeah, I think so. But notwithstanding, I don't know. I think it's from the. Okay. Um. All right. Um. I don't think what I'm going to do is very simple. I am. Um, let's just try to give this man a, a color, a different color. Uh, if you color, color won't work here. I'm, yeah, I'm 100% sure it won't work. Um, it won't work here. So, if you add color, it will not work so due to uh, the ally. So, you just need to call LIA. So, this, me, I like this ally. It's blessing, it looks a blessing name Eddie and Mama. It is blessing name. So this is a column. This is a column. L A. All right. Um. Then just this color. Color should be white. So. Then uh, let's check it and see what happens. We have this one. So I want to change this to bold, like make it a bit bolder. Bolder. You other good. A bit bold. Sorry, fun with. With both, the continue will stop tomorrow. Okay, um, then I want when somebody click on you, we'll have that on the line, right? That nice on the line button. Then this one, I'm going to be giving this one a different uh, color, like apply now. If we can achieve this now, then we'll call it a day. Tomorrow we'll continue. So let me play this down. But we'll add, we'll add this. Yeah. 
Yes, sorry. Which are then this one? Okay. So what I need to do now is let me add the zero pixel, zero pixel. All right. Um, this is the margin top, margin top. Right, need that. Let's see what happened. Is that part in top? So, um, margin bottom is no, 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 false. So, okay, that is margin, margin, that is margin, uh, right. This is margin, right. So, let's do it here. Uh, let Okay, work, work, let's work on this individually, please. Yeah? And with this, work on it individually. Now what I say, work on that individually. Uh, mm -hmm. Work on that. Too. Yes, this apply will be on button. Work on that. Yeah? Work on that. We can, we can also do something like this. Yeah? Let me try to do something. Uh, I left. Let me try to see. Um. Okay. Is it is because this this man is converted to float, but now we stand. Work on it. Work on it. Work on it. Let's proceed, guys. Let's proceed, guys. All right. Okay. Let's work on this guy. Let's work on this guy. Let's just work on this guy first. So we need to come to the HTML. Then here we need to add a class. A class of um BTN or uh, maybe uh BTN BTN like button button. Okay? So the first thing we gotta do. Um, what I'm going to do is put bit here uh, background uh, right see what happened so let let increase the pattern pattern to the pattern top I just use this for now this for now we're experimenting so we like um something okay they work on that pattern they try then pizza hmm. um this 50 and C Okay. Then uh, border radius. Um, five pixel. All right. Then way over this man. Let's see what we did here. Which give us like. Uh, this um, yes. so let me try something because I needed I needed this man to have some spaces. Let me try something here. Yeah. You will margin left. to have some space eh? so um the image is not working the image is not working okay okay magic right let's see 
Okay, we have. Uh, I think we are good now. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, blessing. Blessing. Criticize, 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 criticize. They are not criticizing you know, as usual. It's too wide. Let's look at it. It's not too wide with the original. With the original. Okay. Okay. I think we should have applied now instead of applied. Okay. Bless and say the button is too wide. Let's check, see what we need to do about the button. White from the left or right of top to bottom. Okay. Okay, I think this is okay. Alright, so let's just work on the over. So we have to give it a border. So when you over it, give it a border. Border of two pixel solid, then a white border. For the color, color I want the color to be transparent, background color. Hmm? I want it to be transparent. So, all right. Have you? Hmm? Okay, let's let let add um, any question, please. Let me pause. Any question? Okay, okay, okay. Um, that was too much of that time. If you are, if you sometime. Uh, I believe if you use if you are using a brighter background, you know how to darken it a bit, right? Uh huh. So, in case you are using a brighter background, all right. When you look when you look at this place, I click now. We have um. My screen is on, Oga. My screen is on. Oh, let me let me let me pin let me let me pin the screen. Let me pin it. I should pin that. Try to pin that now. Okay, let me pin this. No, this does it. Pinning is different something. Okay. I think I see it now. Let's went here. Best went here and come and share my screen. Huh? Best you forget I'm a married man. You want to you are romancing me. <laughs> uh, don't if if you, want to talk, if you don't want to talk to mar our mar married people like us, you don't you don't do your voice like that with my brother, my sister. <laughs> All right, guys, look, look, please, so that you proceed then. Let's proceed. Okay, um, I think you can, can see my screen now. It's better now, B. Okay, okay. So, um, what you are going to do now is to add the... So, in, in the header... The header ends here, so we are going to be creating a, a different div here, so that it will be inside this our container that has our background, right? So I'm going to be creating a div. The first div I'm going to be creating is a um, I'll call it a, I'll call it um, 
container hero container body okay container body all right um this is all we have here container body so inside this container body let's see what we got here man we have the learn to code hmm? i'm going to copy this they are fish one you can also have the P. I will copy this. Okay, this is all I have here. The next one is to have my like. Uh, the button btn not btn is okay so i'm not adding anything better than that btn just the class class name btn just so just it. um what i'm going to do here is uh, get Oh, uh, if possible, I'm going to start it. Simply start it. Right. Um, I also want to add like this here, like um, a button. So I need to go to awesome, awesome dude, right? Font also. Okay. I want to copy my copy my link. I don't usually remember this link, so. So this okay this is a link here. I got see the link. Huh? Like seriously? So the my network is a bit network is a bit bad. Yeah. Okay, can you see it now? Yeah? Hmm? Okay, I have, I have to copy this. Then it comes to my VS code. Pressing this inside my head, the head of my website. So, let me just, let me disconnect this and disconnect that. It is, it's really slow. Just, uh, uh, I will come this connected part. Very, very slow. Okay, we gotta remove this thing so that we can have a um, okay, let's continue. Hmm? I'm here, I'm coming. Yes, yes, yes. I'm coming. Try to. I try to log log out and log in again so that the bit was hanging before. I 
Can you guys see my screen now? You need to pay. Need to pay the same code. But if you're using front end, you don't need to pay the same. If you're using back end, you don't need to pay the same code. You don't need to write a function that will replace that particular code. You understand? Yeah. So, okay, let's get. Uh, let's get. Let's get. It. <laughs> Everything is all about the time and season. When the time comes, you will know. Okay. Let me say but, uh, Nest. I don't use Nest. Okay, I'm using this. Hmm? I'm using this as Nest. So. Hmm? Let me use this one. Doesn't matter. Okay, um, down to this place. I'm adding this here. Then paste. Okay. We we'll have this here. All right, let. Um, also, we're going to be, we're going to be like changing this color to white. Also, then uh, the have inside the body container. Um, my ally, you are. Thanks here. Okay. Mm. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So, add this, let's give it a color. Love white and white. So, mm. Okay, this is the color. Um, I'm going to be breaking this here from our look at it. Uh, um, Break this one here. Who can tell us? Who can give us an idea of how to move this to center? Huh? Any idea? Okay. Okay. Let's use position. Position is better. So, so what you're, what you're going to do is that, yeah, uh, let's use margin auto to move this item to center. So this is what we have here. Okay, margin auto test a line center. Test a line center. They will. This is what we have here. Hmm? Right, they can now they can now use uh, based on what our brother said. They can now use margin top. Mm -hmm. I get him uh, or use position. Let us just use position. They can use position to do that. Um, 
Jesus por isso Jesus mais gente todos os dias ok let us position that let us position so so what you need to do is here is very simple then let's remove the margin top the auto margin you don't need that to go uh, so let's work on the position all right um position absolute then position half what we call top um have right left bottom the way you're padding half i don't need to explain that let's say top to zero pixel right let's see what happened sorry top to zero pixel excuse me then uh, you can see zero pixel that is nothing at all hmm? so nothing at all so uh, what we're going to be doing now uh, uh, Blessing, guys. What are going? What you are going to do? What are we going to do to bring this thing down, like the center? Okay. Okay. Let me add like fifty percent and see. Fifty percent of our div. This is what we have, baby. They need to work on the left or right, Abby. Left or right, which one are we going to work on? The right. Left. Okay, right. Huh? Right, if you reach right zero, see what happened? It goes to the right. Huh? So it's left. So. Mm, left. Is forty percent, but forty percent is too big. We'll come to that later. Let's try to reduce this to like thirty percent. Um, is that okay? Or should let's try it. You are more centralized, so. Let's align center. Let's try this align center to give us that. Um, we don't need to centralize it. You know what? Okay, see what you do here. I don't like. I'm not. I'm not sure this is well centered. Twenty percent. I think it's a bit fair now. Be blessed. Why did I talk? I'm not doing it here, of course. No, we are not the manageable here. We need to produce. I, I, I think it's okay now. Hmm? So it's okay now. So let's work on this man first. Hmm? Okay. Let's see. Let's check out the original website. All right. Certificate this. Okay. okay. Um. Let me give this like uh width as I want to give width like eighty percent. Hmm? I don't want it to be like to be like we are giving you the whole hundred percent. So I'm gonna put the banyash. It's not reflect, but I know what I'm saying. Eighty percent. If you give this into thirty percent, see what happened now. Uh twenty percent, let's see what happened. You see what happened, Abby? Show you the work. You don't see. Yeah. Uh, so uh, let me give it that eighty uh, percent. If you add the background and see, you see that this is showing. You cannot be like, ah, this eighty percent not work. So you can see it's showing. Uh, it's showing. So all right, let me move that. Okay. Um. Let's work on this container body. So we are working on this H1 container body. So we quickly need to call this container body. Because we may have a lot of H1 here. The H1. Uh, so font size is 50. 50 pixel. It may be bigger or maybe smaller. Okay. 
Um, so what we have here. So this is a problem. We need to uh, try to try to uh, test a line center here. Okay, let's see what happened. That didn't work. Uh, try to do something here. Um, margin auto. Um, then they, they try. Okay, test a line center. They try that. Test a line center. I doubt if you work with one with the lead check. We went, to, we went to the same position. So let's try to remove this to 20. The left to 20. So then we're going to break this. I'm uh, going to break this. Hmm? Let's break this. So um ends. Okay. And so the kids. Okay. Um that and let's try to move that to center. Let's see something. Let's align. Center. Okay. Let's move this one to center too. Okay. Come to that letter. Try to fix it perfect. Color to yellow. And neither this dark, this dark yellow. Okay. Let me see the color we have here. Okay, let's work on this P, P element. Work on this P element. So let's work on this P element quickly. Okay. Um, so. Okay. Okay. But P. Here will be. Here will be P. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, fonts. Are we together? Font size to thirty pixel. It's what happened. Let's also move it to center. Let's align center. Then this um, I have to move. Um, I would suggest. Uh, hmm? I would suggest we should remove we should remove this this um, man this position is left. Let's see what happened. Um, I think it's a bit okay, Abby. Hmm? It's not the center. I'm coming. Let's try to give it like. Let's try to give it like uh, ten. Hmm? Alpha. Is it okay now? Okay. Uh, then let's work on the button. 
the BNT. The blessed is the other thing we're going to do here. It's good. It's good, right? Okay, let's see from um, this uh, font width to be bolder. Bold. Okay. Okay, right. Let's just move this man to center. So let's check. Let's look at the okay, BNT. BNT, what am I doing? There's a link center. Okay, this is what we have here. Uh, okay, I have, um, they have like background. Let's see what we have this on our other side. Like you notice that when you click on it, it will, it will, it will like zoom off a bit, right? Boom. All right. Boom. Boom. Okay. Get started. Okay, we have a border there. Hmm. Put the bracket. I have a border. Border. Three pixel. Solid. Whites. Okay, let's see what we have here. Uh, let's control the weights. I think uh, let's control the weights. This can You can use. We can control the weights, or you can simply use a. Uh, Um, let's control the weight 20 percent 20 percent uh, what is this thing? um Margin auto. Hmm? That margin auto should move this man to the margin auto should move this man to the left to the center. So instead of me passing through this other uh, guys, guys, instead of me passing through here there again, let me just remove that diff. This is the not what I had. Not get, not get, not get strong. Can they write too much code here? I just use a what's they call it? Use a, a, is it? I can, I can use a, what's they call it? I can simply absolute it to then use a, write. You see what you need to do? Just use a change to absolute. Use write. What's they call it? Write. Float it. Use uh, right and control it, control it to what you want. Okay, this is it here. This is what we have here. Mm -hmm. This is what we have here. So, okay. Now to see how the BNT have Okay, we have a different class. So, let me add. A class here. Oh, instead of having a class, let me just use a uh, anchor. Hmm? Okay, if I use anchor, it will affect other anchors. So let me add a class. A class of A. Okay. Uh, dot. If I, if I didn't add the class now, it will affect every other element. I think it's still the same situation we have here. Yeah? Okay. 
Okay, let me let me move this thing. Okay. Okay. How to fix this now? If this cannot move this to the center, then who will move it to the center? Does not matter. Let's see. Um, uh, let me move this. 